Okay, hi everyone. So today we'll be going over comic applications. So here are the objectives for today. So in this session, we will cover what are comic applications, the most popular comic apps and their features, choosing your comic application, and finally, how to navigate comic apps. So what are comic apps? Comic applications are websites or applications that allow you to view and read graphic novels and comic strips. These apps cover the most popular types of comics, which include superhero stories, um, popular form of graphic fiction based on superheroes originating from Western culture, a manga, uh, which are Japanese graphic novels, or webtoons graphic novels made for mobile format. Each app services have rights to comics from specific publishing companies. So here are the pros and the cons of comic apps. So uh, here are the cons. So firstly, one app may stick to one publishing company. So you might not have um, a variety of comics to look through, just depending on the application. Reading experience may be difficult because of the small size of the panels. You can't collect the physical copies for collections. Not all comics are available online. So here are the pros of comic apps. So they are better for the environment. Manga and comics, bought online are cheaper, and they're convenient to read while traveling. Marvel Unlimited. Membership subscription that gives its users unlimited access to over 27,000 issues of Marvel's classics and newer titles online and offline. These digital comics are available through their site and mobile app. Curated lists available based on characters that you would like to follow. Um, they're updated weekly, classic, and newer issues are added every week. Um, they come as soon as six months after their physical copies hit the store. So the pricings are $9.99 per month um, and $69 per year. And these pricings are in US dollars. Comixology, graphic novel service by Amazon. Guided view, a reading experience where you can tap or swipe cinematically from panel to panel at your own pace. This makes it easy to read comics, no matter what device you're reading on. It is home to over 75 publishers that include DC Comics, Marvel, Viz Media, and also Dark Horse. Comics come out uh, the same day physical copies are released. Working similar to Amazon Kindle, the Comixology Unlimited subscription for $5.99 per month you're able to read the first volumes of series for sampling, but you do have to pay for additional fees to keep on reading. And this is not covered by Amazon Prime. You may also purchase comics without sampling. Prices are greater compared to having Comixology Unlimited, available to download uh, 150 slots and read on site and mobile apps. So here's Crunchyroll. So Crunchyroll is a subscription service that offers unlimited streaming of anime shows and movies, and also access to manga. You can stream on a variety of devices that include mobile, Xbox, PlayStation, and also on their website, offer the 
all utmost all mainstream and classic titles that you can think of. So here's the pricing. So for premium, it's for $7.99 per month. You have unlimited access to anime and manga ad-free and view experiences in HD. Billing cycles also include $2.99 for three months, which is $7.63 per month, and $79.99 annually, which is $6.67 per month. New releases are available hours after they're dropped in Japan. And these prices are in uh, US dollars once again. You may also use the service for free. You have access to um, almost all of Crunchyroll's content in 480p, but often encounter ads. New releases are not instantly available. Comics Kingdom. So Comics Kingdom has a broad collection of comic strips, editorial cartoons, interactive puzzles, and Sunday funnies. So the subscriptions are to uh, $1.99 per month or $19.99 per year. I'm pretty sure these are also in US dollars. So the premium features um, personalized daily email. You have access to over 250,000 comics, um, ad-free browsing, save comics to your account, create your own list of favorite comic strips, exclusive subscriber offers and discounts, new comics delivered daily, and exclusive digital-only comics. Dark Horse. So in Dark Horse, you can buy or read comics. Um, have to make an account to access the free comics. So just remember to create an account. Drive through comics. So prices vary by comic, but there are also free comics on the side on the site. On the left hand corner, you can browse through different categories and pick one that you would like to read. So as you can see, um, we just have like different um, options to filter your results. So you're able to um, browse through like the genres, maybe by like audience, also by languages. And we have like a list of publishers. Digital Comic Museum. The Digital Comic Museum lets you download free public domain Golden Age comics. To start downloading, just register for a free account. The website does not charge per download, as the goal of the project is to archive these comic books online and to make them widely available. So here's Webtoon. Line Webtoon is a free webtoon publishing portal launched by Naver Corporation. As an open platform, small and upcoming artists from around the world are able to submit their comics. There's thousands of comics updating weekly. If you want to pay for the fast pass, you can get access to the latest episodes on certain series earlier than the regular release date. Comics are available for download for offline reading on the Webtoon app. So which service is for you? So keep in mind what type of comics that you'd like to read. Some applications may only offer one type, while others um, offer, offer a wide variety. So what publishers do you like to read from? A service like Comixology offers content from many publishing companies, uh, whereas Marvel Unlimited offers content only from Marvel. So are you browsing or binge reading? Comixology would be better for sampling since the first chapters of most comics are free. Crunchyroll and Marvel Unlimited 
uh, would be better for binge reading because you have unlimited access to all graphic novels. Webtoon is good for both since it is a free service. So how to use comic applications. So first download the comic app of your choosing from the Go Play Store or the App Store um, or access the, uh, the website online. So first open the app and select comics, manga, or browse to browse for what you'd like to read. On some sites, hovering over one of the options below will give you choices for what you'd like to browse for. So as you can see, um, here are the different websites. You're able to just click on manga um, if you're going on Crunchyroll or comics if you're going on Marvel. With Comixology, you're able to click on browse to look through the different um, genres, maybe by creators or what's top selling. So how to use comic applications uh, continue. So number two, after choosing what you'd like to read, select add to cart, read now or the title of the comic. On some sites, hovering over the comic will show some details about the comic. For sites that require additional payment after adding all the titles that you like to read, proceed to checkout to purchase. So number three, to open the comics, select them from the browsing page or from your library. On Comixology, your library of purchased books can be accessed by selecting My Books from the top right corner. Number four, navigating the comic can be done by tapping the comic, swiping left, or using the arrow keys on your computer or on the screen. So note that on Comixology, graphic novels can only be purchased from their online site. Um, to read on mobile, you have to go through the cloud option and download your purchases from there. All right, so now I'll be doing a live demo of Webtoon. So first, what you'd like to do is go on, um, you can go on like Google Chrome, and then just by searching up Webtoon, you're able to Webtoon like this. Remember that Webtoon, um, you're able to download it, uh, you're able to download the app on uh, the App Store or through the Google Play Store. So now you'll just be clicking on Webtoon, read comments online. So now you'll be sent to the home page. So now to create an account, you would click on log in at the top right of your screen. And then you'll be clicking on sign up by pressing this gray button right here. So now you'll just have to include your information, um, like your email address, your password, and your nickname, which can be used uh, if you're making a comment on a webtoon. So now how to search for comments. So to search for a comic, you would click on uh, the magnifying glass at the top right of your screen. So as you can see, I can start searching for the webtoon. I'll just be searching up Seed, which is a webtoon. So whenever uh, you click on a webtoon, you should see the description of the comic to the right. Um, it also says the day that the webtoon comes out. Um, so, so far this one, it's every Sunday. And remember that you can pay uh, for a fast pass, which costs coins from Webtoon. These coins are like virtual money um, uh, using like Webtoon. So you need to pay for these coins to purchase a fast pass. And to read the comment, uh, to read the comic, you can look through the episodes. So I can see they list the episodes. You also have, um, like, if they're longer comics, 
able to look through um, the list and click on the numbers. Or you can also click on the first episode to the right. So as you can see, I can just start scrolling uh, down, up and down, just by, um, and then I can just read the comic like so. And then I can scroll all the way to the bottom. And then I can just read the comments. You can list them by the top comments, or maybe what's newest. And uh, you can also create your own comment. Just remember that you must um, log in. Um, so you need to create an account to leave a comment below. So now um, to go to the next uh, episode, you're able to just tap on the comic and then press on next episode or it's like um, a red, a right arrow, like so. And then you can look through the next episode like that. Now to go back to the home screen, you'll just click on Webtoon at the top left of your screen. So you're also able to look through um, by genres. Genres, so let's say you enjoy like fantasy click on fantasy and you're able to look through uh, the different options here. There's also like sports if you hover over others. Or you can click on popular to see well, like what's trending right now, which is right next to genres at the top. So you're able to see what's most popular by genre. Again, like if you're interested in like um, action or fantasy, then you have like a list here. Or by age group, so you're able to click on these options right here. So at the top right, you might notice that it says Creators 101. So I'll just click on that. And this just shows you how you're able to publish your own webtoon. So let's say you're really interested in creating your own webtoon. You're able to do that just by following these steps right here. And yeah, and then it just shows like some like different resources, how you're able to create your own webtoon if you'd like. And that's it for uh, my presentation on Webtoon or comics in general.